We made a little progress. I gotta go pick up my son at the birthday party. I had literally just enough um, in this lot of, I got these for 26 bucks for 50 and I bought two lots of it. So um, I could keep the red and this will be a middle section. So I don't need to do the outside any special color because the outside of these ones are all green with the red in the end. And uh, we finish it up later. Um, so yeah, looking good. I like how it's not crowded anymore. Very nice. One thing I may do is extend this out and have where I can have two more rows in the front. Just do maybe one of these plates because you don't have to connect it so much. Sorry, I turn off the lights already. Just another one of these plates in the front connected on the top and you know tile it. Nice. All right. I think that's all I'm gonna do today. I got a lot of stuff I got to pull out and pull on this table. Uh, I got all these supports done, copied exactly as that. And so this is what I was left with as far as these books I bought. I got some here. So I just kind of guessed I was like probably need um, close to 100, and I think I got 120 is what it was. So I'm not even sure. Um, there's the supports. And there was a chrome brick in there. So I didn't use that in the stand. I'll see if that's worth anything. It's actually in decent shape. Obviously with Duplo you're gonna get scratches and stuff, but it's not out of the ordinary for something like this. And yeah, we'll put that for sale. Making some progress. I think I might have all the parts I need. I will be able to find it because the Duplo is the only thing I knew I didn't have. That's why I ordered some. And wasn't sure what else I had, but apparently I stocked up the last time I built one of these. All right, just a simple design. We're using two by three bricks, or you can use a combination of just to make it three wide or long, whatever you want to say. And then these are just all reddish brown bricks. And then see, that's why I built these supports first. You need these, so I just built them all first, so that it doesn't we can just keep on building this same section or same whatever. And you just got to really push this stuff down. We need one of those hammers they have on Lego Masters. Keep going. All right, we had to scavenge for a one more one by four brick and a one by two brick to finish this up. Uh, I had to, I had some stuff sorted over my other personal stuff over there, and we found it, and it is mostly done. We just got to do the, the details. I may go back in through and uh, tile all this. I'm gonna leave these jumpers in here in case I ever want to crowd them out again. You can do it. <laughs> And I thought about putting the same exact figure behind some of them, just to so that there's more. And when the other one sells, I can just move it forward. Things like that, but or just put duplicate figures in the middle. But I don't know. I like. I love the look of this right now. How it's not so crowded. Um, or I could just space them. You know, only put like this is eight in each row. Maybe just put four in the middle rows. I don't know. Gotta rob my store. I just deleted 25 of these. I think I need around 20. So. Let's count these out and we're almost done. Oh no. What happened? A little more design going on since I did lose a lot of space, even though I'm building a whole other section. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add two more rows of figures on each bottom. Alright, I just want to decide to pop out the other section and make sure it fit all together. It does. This is looking great. Um, you know, I'm kind of crowding them again at the bottom, but the bottom's easy. It's not like, I mean, there is actually a gap, so it's not crazy. My whole thing with this, I want them to come off at the stands, and then I take the stand so I remember know the price. I mean, I'm pretty, I pretty know pretty much which ones I put on which stand, uh, but things can get crazy, and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. And then, uh, we're just gonna fill it up now. It's like almost 8 o'clock on Saturday night, so I'm going to call it quits, but I ordered enough parts, I think, to fill in every single stud just with all tiles. I ordered 2 by 2s and I ordered one by 2s and I actually ordered some more 2x4s. Um, I um, want it to be all looking nice. I mean, I like, kind of like the different texture level of, you know, the bright green and the regular green, but I don't know. 
Maybe it's, it's all going to be green. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. It's awesome though. Awesome stuff. Got the nice brick wall in the back. <laughs> That's what I use for my ass pop block shot videos. I just took a picture of that and used the background. Doesn't look any bigger than before. <laughs> it holds less minifigures, but way more easier to access. So much easier. Picking up this guy would knock the guy in front off and the person in back, typically. Happy Labor Day, USA. Get the day off. Not me. 105 items on eBay. Whoa, and something. And on a brick link. Paid hours? 20. Wow. So look, wow, that just seems like it keeps going and going. 542 lots. Ooh. Wow. Okay, Brickall is simple. So here we go. First batch of $9, and that one sold for like 5 Sports cards. That's, I think, there's a 15 items in there, mostly castle. There's a five. It's awesome. Here we go. Next batch of shipping. There it is. These guys sold back to back within a, a few minutes for 30 and 50. <laughs> this is a five, and that was like four. And I believe this was the last batch of stuff. <laughs> I didn't check 100%, but I'm I'm gonna call it done because I can always. There's no mail today on Labor Day, so but if there's a couple left over, I'll just go out with when I ship out tomorrow. So it's no big deal. And 6:41 a.m. The eBay shipping is done. There's the sports card, so I'm gonna get these binned up in the shipping bin and move on to Bricklink Brickout. This is a cool and funny message. <laughs> I place an order on Saturday night. Um, for the minifigure stand, I wanted to complete it with tile, this green tile, and couldn't believe that I placed an order because it was just for pieces. No, I think there's one minifig part maybe in there that they had <laughs> that I had on my list or something. Maybe not. Um, it's just like, what are you building? You're not a builder. And I'm not a builder, but I had to build this. And I actually uh, was messing with this the other day. After I was done, like, I think I want to do it this way because I had this tile. You can't put tiles with CMFs because if, if they're right next to each other like that, um, you can't get to it, right? So, this, this row and ever. What do I do with this row? So, one, two, two, skip, skip. This one got messed up somehow. You don't go up there? That don't make sense. That don't make sense. Five, six, seven. Um, no, this one does go here. What did I do? And that one does go there. Um, and I actually thought when I when I take this apart, or I have to take off this front section to fit in my bin. And I'm wondering if I can get one more section back here. Don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. The colors are weird. I don't care. Um, so I think I'm going to remove all these ones to look like those. It just makes more sense. It doesn't look as clean when you're like looking through and scanning through. It's harder to see, actually. Switch. Maybe, I don't know what's right, what's the best. But either way, awesome. Yep, I'm building something. I built something. So the tiles are going to fill in all of this stuff. I don't know about this row because I need lots of 2x4 tiles. I've, I could put some on top of here and then on there, but. And I actually thought about um, putting some more pieces and moving these guys back a little and staggering these ones, but I'm not sure yet. Alright, we're ready to pull orders over there. Brought some snacks down from our Costco trip, got my coffee, and. Um, 
I can't stop thinking of this or talking about this because I love making something new and making my booth better. Anyway, I forgot to mention. So this is only two sections before, and it held, uh, I think it was 256 minifigures all bunched together, and now it holds 240. <laughs> so we're minus 16, but way more usable, way more... Um, if I ever wanted to shove more in spots, I still can. It's not like you can't. I, I, I still still did put everything in there like it was on, on the other ones. So it's not a big deal if I think I need more on there. But um, I'm going to try to stagger these and get three in here now. Is I think is what's going to happen. I might build this, this plate up one more. I'm not sure. But just I'll crowd these ones at least. <laughs> For now but anyway time to get the pulling orders and uh, I brought snacks just so I don't I don't have to take a break from here on out brick owls done Wow first 45 lots on bricklink are secured some pairs of arms it's not helping me after every order I'm doing a snack break another 68 lots out the door. I'm not speeding today. Just taking it easy. Final part of this order. Gotta grab it. Oh, don't get pinched with the lobster claw. It's going to another Bricklink seller. There it is. Forty more lots down. Five minutes after eight. One of my favorite hair pieces. Someone bought two of them. And a head. One of my favorite accessories. Not the actual mold of it, but the color of it. I just put this for sale, I think last Thursday. Cool little cup. My favorite torsos now. Eleven dollar torso. <laughs> I found it like three or four times in the last few weeks. From Cafe Corner. It's this day of uh, expensive little pieces. Nine dollar torso. Alright, this order has a message. Can't wait to meet again at Brick World. Alright, from M Lego. I see live streams with a uh, good friend around here, uh, Butt Shop 2021, so you probably might have seen him. Uh, he did the 72 hour live stream this year as well, so and last year and maybe the year before, I don't even know, but um, is it just one sticker sheet? I gotta check. Yep, got one of those. Let's move and see what they get. Alright, I think I showed this, not this drawer, but my other old sticker drawer. This is the second sticker drawer I created. And uh, we got one of these. The old diner. I also got one of the other sticker drawer that is almost, it's pretty much becoming empty, so. And uh, I'm going. Last two parts of the order, or actually these are just catalogs. So, 50, 52 cents for that one, and... 60 cents for that one. Like, this isn't the right one. This side doesn't show in the picture. This is what it looks like. It doesn't show this side at all, like because it was folded to see this side in there. So, but it's the one. Here's the rest of the order. The one cool part in here that I've had for quite a few, quite a while. I'm not sure how long. Didn't even know they made it a DS game case. A Nintendo DS. There it is. All right, we got another note on the next, very next order. It says, keep making videos and I will keep buying. LOL, just kidding. You have a great store. Thank you for all your hard work. Well, thank you as well. Somebody I got to meet at uh, Bay Beach in Green Bay, so it's awesome. Thank you again for all the support. All right, we are on the final order of the morning. I've had thoughts of not packing it today or pulling it today because there's no mail so it doesn't matter if I do it today or tomorrow but I'm going to get them all then so I don't have to do this one tomorrow 
and hopefully I'll have more tomorrow morning to pull. Um, 116 lots, 443 items. Um, 27. So this isn't too bad. It's like three and a half lots, items per lot. So the first one is four, and then the second one is three. So that seven divided by two is three and a half. All right. Is that 20 minutes or 30 minutes? I don't remember when I started exactly, but there it is. We are done pulling parts for today. It's a great feeling. I'm getting very hungry now. It's almost it's just 10 a.m. now. So I'm going to bag this up. I'm going to print out the labels, then I'm going to leave them on the table and go eat and then come back and put them in the envelopes. I once again lied. I went right through and did the everything. All shipping is done. <laughs> we got this bin and this bin for Monday now, or Tuesday, and I open today. <laughs> and then that's mail that I have to open. I opened one, but whew. So after I go eat breakfast now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be parting this out. Yes, I had thoughts of not parting it out. I already took the figs and sold them a year ago, over a year ago. And then this is two um, sets. So that the two sets are really nice when you can do that. I had two of these. And I also cleared that off of that up there. So we're getting there. And these can probably go away. I might put these all for sale. So I don't think I'll build another mini fix sand. But I might hold on to them just in case after after this brick world. Uh, after this barrage of brick worlds. Is it, there may, may be a chance that um, I was looking for these. There may be a chance that I build uh, one more section or something. I don't know. So I'm just I'm not going to do anything yet with them. Um, and I don't care if this is cleared off now or later. But I did think of once I do clear it off. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to move these ones up there. I don't know if three would fit. Actually, probably won't. So I might move. I don't know. I need more. Um, space <laughs> i do not need these on here this is just kind of my own stuff but i do have plastic bags which these will fit here just fine i don't necessarily need more used shoe boxes i can always go behind here still and get this other stuff out of here don't need the duplo there um, i like these to be here so i don't think i'll ever move those out of there um, but i need more new space so I guess like I actually my new shoe box is down there. I can probably get a road at back here. I should probably clear that up and do that as I have these bins uh, because I'm running out of room quite quickly with these. I did clear out a lot of big drawers today. I'd say at least 10, maybe 12. Um, so there's one right there that I cleared out even on this side. And I do have some more here. So I'm not in dire situation where I need to expand over to here yet it's already done i just got to buy the stack ons um sign my daughter made for me it's a sweet art deco <laughs> but anyway off to breakfast all right i got this set up entering the new parts and i got some uh, drawers out add those new parts too these are used parts but they're new parts to my store and uh, I got had this color coded by a helper last week, so that's what we're doing. I don't normally um, remove stickers, but in this case, Sam, these are like 50 cent pieces each, and I don't believe they'll sell like this very well. That's my guess. All right, so that one is taking care of just waiting for the computer. I'm going to actually take these guys to the... Uh, conventions so anything that's kind of lower cost that I can sell for a little bit more on the five dollar stand I'm gonna do that just to have fill so be able to fill it up you know so anyway these two sets I don't know what I paid for them it's been a long time it doesn't matter anymore 581 items lots of new lots that's good all right this is where it hurts people I had a thought of having just building it and selling it as the model at the convention, but I don't know if it sells for like, this is going to get me like 60, 75, maybe I think it was, 
and I don't know if I can sell it for that. Maybe 50 if I could definitely could probably sell it for, but I like to do this, add more stuff to my store. We'll check how many parts this is going to add. Um, I got this, and when I was in Florida, then February 2020, a Facebook marketplace find, a really good find, and took all the figures obviously out, and this has been sitting in a box for a while. Actually, the rest of them are right here. My son was asking for something to do the other day, and I just looked through here like, what's a good thing to do? Um, another big thing. And this was in there, and I thought that's a good one to, to figure out. And I wish I had a look in here before. I had this Lex Luthor one. I just parted out. I think we had two of them. I didn't realize that was in there. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Parting out U's. Now this is with the minifig, so it's this, you can't look at this. So we'll you know, take off about 10 lots there. So that's going to add a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This set is green. The reddish brown are the dominants. So we're under the green. All right, I was going to sell the instructions, but I decided not to because they were actually stapled through the whole book one. Book two was okay. I guess I could just sell book two, but maybe. Anyway, we'll have to add these parts sec sec separate. I don't know if this actually goes in the set. I said it. I think it does. There was another brown book already in there. There. This one only comes with one, so I'm not sure what that is or why it's there. Uh, maybe when the person was re-verifying the set, they put an extra book in there before they sold it. I'm gonna add those. This is what this is all both of all three sets: the two, the one, and then the Hobbit hole. Sad. See, that's just proof. Nothing is invincible to my desires to collect anything. So I don't have any. <laughs> Here we go. 604 more items, and we're uploaded. I wonder what my lot count is at now. Um, let me go back though. I'm gonna get back in here. To do the stickers, you just go back to the main page of the set, click set inventory, go all the way to the bottom, and they should have these parts down here. So, yep, there's the book. Oh, I, I better check this other um, piece I probably put up there. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta adjust these. I didn't even notice I did that. Wait. What is correct here? Oh, they have one of that one and two of the other. Okay, so I didn't notice the stickers on there. And then, so they're probably worth more this way. So I'm gonna have to adjust these, minus those parts out, and then add those stickers. I don't know what those are worth. All right, we went ahead and added, these were like uh, $1.50 to two bucks for each map, roughly. The book itself was almost three bucks. And that one was almost two bucks each, and then a dollar twenty-five to other the wood pieces. So got those added. Let's do a part lot check for Monday at 1 10 p.m. now. And I gotta get to my desk. 327,775, 11,599. Good with that. I'm gonna sync this up so I'm done with Bricklink for the day, working on eBay, and then just getting mini figs ready for Brick World the rest of the day. While I was uh, uploading those used mini um, Lego sets, I had these built for me. And then um, there's like six more that I need to park, so I added those to my list and put them in my waiting for parts bin, which there's no mail today like I talked about. Tomorrow I should be getting some, some Bricklink orders, and this is going to take this now. This still is really, it's a really healthy look there. I couldn't believe it, and I added, the I had 200 parts to my wanted list when I added this back the other day. And I know why, because I was adding stuff after I deleted it. And I should have deleted it again <laughs> before I added them back. But that's okay. No big deal. All right, so I had a question about these cards. And I had an S popped block shop video number six, I think it was, or seven. Um, so let's go through one, I guess, right now. So first thing I do, I mean, I could build this by memory if I wanted to. Uh, but when it comes to these ones, the series are a little different than others. but. I put series 10. Usually I just put the set number in there. But if I put the series, it should be one of the last few that sold. Like both of these sold this weekend. I already did that one. <laughs> so I have this guy, and then I go over here. I don't always do this, but I and I put in the COL153. For that's the actual minifig number on Bricklink, right? Uh, just in case I need to add parts to my list. So I know it has five parts. I have them sorted over here. These are all the series from here down. This bottom one was skeletons, now it's empty. 
So I don't know what I actually did because these are interchangeable. These these two will fit actually in this spot as well. So a lot of spots, uh, especially here. Um, this these smaller ones came with two. So I took the big ones and switched them in for two small ones. And this this one here, this one there, that one. A lot of these I did. So I did, you know these big ones are handy, uh, but the small ones are actually better in my opinion. But now I need bigger spaces, <laughs> so it's kind of goes back and forth anyway so series 10 I don't know I don't I have no idea if I have it have this guy or not I do have a, a paintball gun and a paintball torso and that looks well I might have the head in here sometimes you gotta sit here and look to the heads I do have a head right here so we ended up with three items put them in there and I'm gonna grab this so all I need is the, the helmet, and, and I used to store things down here. I still do actually, I never never got rid of them. There could be a helmet in here. There is. Wow, okay. So we got the helmet, so I have hairs and then helmets. And this is eventually gotta get sorted into the, these others where they should go. And this is a mix of just everything. So, And this is accessories. So maybe one of these drawers can probably there's another torso. So I'm gonna throw that in there while I'm here. Um, and just, I might just use this for all CMF stuff. I don't know yet. With all the stuff I'm sorting on the table behind me over there, I may need to. So don't see legs. And I can also look on my table over here. This is a CMF table, or this is where I put all of them. Just a quick glance. Don't see it. Only has the legs. We'll put that on the line of list. All right. So, I'll probably, and I'll put the head and the helmet all together real quick here. All I need to do is do this. Add to line of list, and it is on my list. Also, um, sometimes I'll check my store. This is a, there's a chance I might have these, but I'm just would show me right here that I have them, so I don't have them. I had to do my first. Uh, Brick World Convention clean out. This one's fine. This is for like the build a minifig station stuff. All these are the cheaper minifigs I'll have to be bringing. And then I filled up this thing with accessories. Just totally, like basically one one gallon bag was full, completely full. Filled that up. And this is basically all the extra minifigs I have packed right now. You know, besides the one on the stand, and then my other huge stand has 640 or so already. So, <clears throat> but these are a mix of things that'll be on either stand. There's not much in here. <sighs> the three brick rolls yet. So, but the reality is I have 800 on the stands, over 800 on the stands right now. So, that's good. And uh, got a couple weeks. Keep grinding it out. Keep building. So I'm, like, I'm starting to. I had my son, he wants to build more guys. So he's starting with those guys, just pulled out a drawer. He's still working on it, he needs more legs. But we have, we can build pretty much all of these. How many, how many jet packs we have is probably how many we can build. All right, just placed three orders after I filled up my wanted list again a little more. And now my wanted list, where did it go? It's around here somewhere. Only 115 items. That's great. Minor fail here. Okay, it's not a fail. We're gonna build three complete, but we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen more that I just I just actually bought 35 helmets. So I, I know I have more parts of these guys around. At all, but by the time we go to Brick World, we'll be able to build probably all of those. Maybe don't know, but that's a good start. That's for sure. All right. So I'm gonna do one Bricklink order. It's like 3:30 right now. And let's clean up a few things and be out of here for the day. This Labor Day holiday. You don't have holidays when you work for yourself. It's just it's how it is. But I take vacations when I want, so don't get paid on vacations, which was the hardest decision to make. Uh, deciding to go full time, losing over 30. It was like 37 days paid vacation time with holidays and everything. It's a hard decision, but the right decision. All right, got some snow trippers made for me. Able to complete these three. Just gotta build a little thing. All right, Tuesday, September seventh. We got going on here. 
We had a good Labor Day of sales. So that is nice. And then uh, Bricklink says seven orders here for a decent amount. 103 lots. So there's 30 lots, 21, 10, 9, 4, 20, and 9. The 20 lot one of 300 items seems like a beast in itself. That's the best, that's the most I'm taking the longest, but it's the one of the lowest cost ones. So, <laughs> two people had to pay shipping, they didn't get to the $20 free shipping, but that's cool. And Brick Owl, we have six orders, and one has 44 lots, so it's 103 total lots right there so let's get going here's the first batch of stuff so we had 40 and then there's four in there two in there and the rest are singles so this is 20 orders uh so 24 items so we have 16 more after this could be 60 could be 10 orders with multiple a couple with multiple don't know and here's the second batch so it's some card holders Surprising I didn't sell more of these. I did put 50% off all my sports cards to so kind of set, selling them off. Um, a little bit here and there more, but they have best offer as well. So people were offering them, just not accepting those offers because they're already 50% off and really good deal. So we're ready to go. I'll show you a couple things before I get started. It's now 6:11. Got my coffee, water boiling upstairs. We're starting to get 18 of these. Coles last night for let's see here zero zeros there's all zeros on there for a total of zero cost <laughs> we had ninety dollars Coles cash so spent it all on this um, we did back to school shopping even though kids don't go to school public school at least and um, my thirteen year old had no pants that fit him he's looking me eye to eye now. He grew a lot in the last few months, or over the summer. I'm going to get all this out. This was, I paid with taxes, $88 for this. And I, I set up, I heard the buyer or the seller setting up a return. The pictures look so nice. And this guy here, he looks, let me just, my battery's going to die, so let me set this. All right. This guy especially looks absolutely real. The pictures were a little bit dark and fuzzy, so you couldn't tell 100% on some of these. I mean, I could tell there's some big things, but that just happens. He looks so real. Very good, but uh, you pull them apart. I mean, there's no, there's no Lego stamp there, and that is not a Lego, so. Pretty much his whole bag was fake or not Lego or damaged. Stuff that I didn't want, but I was going to return it all. See, so even even that, like, the torsos all look good. And then I look at them and, well, that one might actually be one. That one is Lego. The Brainiac one. So that one is correct. That cape is not Lego. I picked it off. This is all I found that was good. You know, a quick run through. I didn't look through the helmets at all yet, but you can tell a lot are just bad. I think, I think that bit musician's real. I didn't look through that, but I said I'm just going to return it all because it's just not anything I want. And they offered $70 refunds. I got $74 total back with the tax. I paid 14 bucks for this. I said that's fine. I'm sh I can salvage. I mean, there's some there's some actual snakes in here. I can salvage that for that. I'll keep it the hassle so you can tell this 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 buyer probably got it at goodwill or something but they, the description said they don't know anything about them and not sure if anything's complete or not which is fine uh, and they were very didn't have to argue with them i just said i i can't use this stuff <laughs> so it worked out so i took the time to go through the other two bags and this is an actual lego helmet and also the biff musician head was actually lego so both said Lego in them. This is what we got out of it. 14 bucks. Instead of nothing, I guess. So, this is going in the trash or 
burn pile. And one more thing uh, before I get to pulling orders, I did do this last night. This sort of the Star Wars Ninjago, some superhero. This is just random stuff I can put some to get away. Ninja Turtles. This is just a um, combination of a few orders or for smaller eBay orders. One had like 50 figures, one had like 20 with a bunch of big little things. It's not put together, so junk pile. I want to throw this box away of the bad minifigure parts I got, and then there's some other bags in there. So I, de I definitely found a, a real helmet for this guy. And this one says Lego on it, so we have a complete. One well, is not cracked. That is. That pays for the 14 bucks I paid for it right there. We pulled some more goodness. We got a second Bith head out of there. Nice black John torso. Greedo, I think, and his head is in here. I'm pretty sure. I thought it was Walls or something. Uh, what was that Greedo? I think that's Walls, though. And we'll figure that out later. But the, yeah, these legs don't go to that. Did they go to that? Maybe I thought they went to that one. I don't know, but still other good stuff. And then I was about done, and then I, this hair was on there, and I pulled this off, and it says Lego. It's a Scarlet Witch, or the Supergirl, I mean. Supergirl head, which is very good, so I have to keep that as well. The rest of this. All fake knockoff stuff. Even a Mandalorian fakeness. No Lego stamp on the top. I know. When I sent a message to the seller, I just tell them, always check under the head, on the top of the body stud, it should say Lego on there. I mean, it's very clear, evident it's not Lego. So, Brick All, Gang's all, Brick all Gang is all there. Yeah. First uh, 30 lot Bricklink order is now pulled. Just 12 after 7 now, so let's get moving. I think this is like third of everything because there's only 100 lots I have to pull, so this is 30. This is the biggest quantity order I talked about earlier. 100 Technic pins, that's why it was so much, so pretty easy. Last order here. All the bagged minifigs are new. It's used parts there. And these are when I when I clear out my police drawer and I find torsos that are alike and I create figures. This is what happens. I bought them all. All the, all the, all the ones I made. Not all of them in the store, but I made three of that one, three of that one. I bought them. Well, one thing I gotta do today is go to the post office. Everything is ready to go. 8.03 a.m. I might go for a run real quick or do a little bit of sorting while I stretch real quick actually. And then I'll go. And then I had my son sort these yesterday. So I'll get these put up for sale. Enough uploading parts. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a lot to do. This work I'm gonna try to clear out this tray and then fill it back up and take off. Yeah, lots of goodie stuff. I really want to get all this sorted. And then we just go on a building tear. Just build as much as I can. That is a very good minifig right there.